wreckage of a 500-year-old Portuguese ship filled with gold coins has been unearthed. One of the world's oldest surviving carpets has proven to be a mystery for researchers. In a remote corner of a vast private ranch, a perplexing mystery has unfolded, leaving its discoverer shocked and the local community bewildered. A rancher, going about his usual checks on the property, comes across a scene straight from a surreal nightmare. Spread across the landscape are the motionless bodies of various wild animals, their sudden and unexplained deaths a chilling puzzle. The absence of visible wounds or clear reasons deepens the mystery, fueling various theories while leaving haunting questions unanswered. What hidden force could have caused this shocking end? Could it have been a mysterious event from another realm? Join us as we explore the chilling message sent by a rancher after making a significant discovery on his private land. Rancher's stunning discovery on private ranch. In a recent and unsettling incident, a rancher made a shocking discovery on his private property. During a routine check, he came across a troubling scene. Numerous dead wild boars scattered around the area. What made this discovery puzzling was the absence of any apparent reason for their deaths. These animals appeared to have collapsed suddenly without any visible injuries or signs of harm. This strange finding has sparked various speculations among experts and online communities. Some suggest a potential outbreak of a harmful disease among the boars, while others consider whether extreme desert conditions like intense heat and dehydration might have been the cause. However, these theories fail to offer a conclusive explanation. As specialists were called in to investigate, the perplexing nature of the situation left them baffled. Thorough examinations, no definitive answers have emerged. There's a lingering suspicion that something more sinister might be responsible for the deaths. The lack of concrete evidence only deepens the mystery, creating an unsettling feeling that something ominous might have led to this tragic event. Conspiracy theories have emerged ranging from environmental toxins to secretive experiments gone wrong. However, without solid evidence, the truth remains elusive, wrapping this unusual event in a disturbing mystery. Meanwhile, the community remains on edge, eagerly awaiting answers to the unsettling puzzle that has disrupted their otherwise tranquil ranching environment. If you don't find this discovery intriguing enough, how about this one? 600-year-old medieval kitchen. Imagine stumbling upon a 600-year-old kitchen that looks like it was in use just moments ago. This incredible find was unearthed during excavations of a wooden house thought to have belonged to a less wealthy family, the Burgers, near the town walls of Novian. Novian has a long history dating back to the 1300s, evolving from an earlier settlement around the Star Geisen Castle. Inside this house, archaeologists discovered a treasure trove of medieval kitchenware including well-preserved ceramic pots. These artifacts provide a rare peek into the daily life of people from the past. Some items showed signs of burning, indicating a sudden desertion of the house, likely during the height conquest of the city in 1427. Historical records mention this siege and conquest, noting the unfortunate massacre of some citizens. The uncovered artifacts, such as lids and other essential kitchen tools, eventually, they'll find a home in the Nugin Museum. There are plans for further excavations around the house, raising expectations of uncovering more mysteries about the medieval town and the lives of its residents. But it doesn't end here. North Korean Ghost Ships In 2017, nearly a hundred empty fishing boats carrying deceased and malnourished North Koreans were found on the shores of Japan. These boats, termed ghost ships, were discovered by the Japanese Coast Guard some bodies were found without heads, with skulls separated from the corpses. On one of the vessels, a worn piece of fabric resembling the North Korean flag was observed. The recurring appearance of these ghost ships, carrying the remains of North Korean fishermen whose bodies had deteriorated to skeletons due to starvation and sickness, raised questions. It was confusing to find North Korean citizens close to Japan's shores because leaving North Korea without permission is considered treason and could result in the death penalty. Initially, it was thought that these individuals might have been defectors or spies. However, an incident changed this perspective. A live fisherman was discovered aboard one of the ships. 
He explained that these fishermen were sailing further away from North Korea in search of food to support the hungry people in their home country, where food shortages are severe. But wait for the next intriguing discovery. Isle of Wight, 8,000-year-old shipyard. In 1999, underwater explorers from the Maritime Archaeology Trust made a surprising discovery off the coast of Balner Cliff on the Isle of Wight. While observing a lobster digging a burrow on the ocean floor, they noticed something unusual. The lobster wasn't just moving rocks around. Upon closer examination, archaeologists found that these rocks were Stone Age flint tools, indicating craftsmanship from ancient times. Further investigation and dating of these flint tools suggested they were crafted and used by people from the Stone Age. This discovery sparked the team's curiosity, leading to more extensive excavations. This exploration uncovered an ancient coastal site among the diverse constructions and artifacts found. One of the most surprising was a Stone Age shipyard. The concept of shipbuilding during the Stone Age is uncommon. Yet, archaeologists identified what might be the world's oldest shipyard just off the coast of the Isle of Wight. They discovered a significant collection of worked wood, believed to have been part of a raft. This man-made wooden shipyard is estimated to be around 8,000 years old and was likely used by Stone Age people to construct fishing boats. This showcases an advanced wood processing technology that was seemingly ahead of its time. However, some members of the archaeology community have raised doubts. They suggest that these structures might have been platforms used by early humans rather than a shipyard. Despite the debate, this discovery challenges previous beliefs about the technological abilities of ancient civilizations. This brings us to another alarming finding, Bronze Age burial on a golf course. Discovering a 4,000-year-old skeleton and an ax in a coffin made from a hollowed-out log on a golf course might seem incredibly out of place. Archaeologists recently revealed this extraordinary find of a Bronze Age coffin situated in an unexpected spot, a pond on a Lincolnshire golf course in the United Kingdom. What makes this discovery particularly rare is the preservation of the coffin itself. Bronze Age log coffins are already uncommon, and finding one in such a well-preserved state after its discovery is even rarer. To ensure its continued preservation and for further examination, the remains were carefully placed in cold storage for a year. Eventually, they were transferred to the York Archaeological Trust. The coffin's location at the golf club has been officially recognized as a scheduled monument, indicating its significance as an archaeological site of national importance in the United Kingdom, the oldest carpet in the world. In 1949, a group of archaeologists ventured into the cold, snow-covered valleys of Siberia on a mission to uncover the forgotten history of the Scythians, an ancient civilization. Amidst the icy permafrost, while excavating the remains of a Scythian nobleman, they stumbled upon a surprising discovery, an incredibly well-preserved woolen carpet. This rug, found at the burial site of the nobleman in the Pazirik Valley within the Altai Mountains of Siberia, was almost perfectly intact. It retained all its original colors, inscriptions, and drawings, showcasing an exceptional level of preservation. Radiocarbon dating indicates that it was woven between 2400 and 2500 years ago, making it the oldest known oriental rug in existence. The remarkable preservation of this carpet is credited to the layer of ice and permafrost known as the Pazirik carpet. It exhibits an advanced weaving technique. There's more. Flying goats of Morocco. Grasping is a skill that typically only primates, like monkeys and humans have. That's why it's incredibly unusual to see goats climbing trees. However, in Morocco, this peculiar sight has become a reality. In some regions, you might witness a herd of goats perched on the branches of argan trees, munching on green or brown bean-like fruits. These argan trees are full of prickles and thorns, which would normally deter most animals. But the goats in Morocco fearlessly climb these thorny branches to reach the tasty fruits they love. This behavior, though unusual, actually helps spread the seeds of the argan tree. Since the goats can't digest the seeds, they spit them out, scattering them around and aiding in the growth of new argan tree groves in the future. It's a unique and mutually beneficial relationship between the goats and the trees in Morocco. The Tale of Ponyhenge In the countryside of Lincoln, Massachusetts, 
there's a unique site called Ponyhenge. While you might be familiar with the historical monument Stonehenge, Ponyhenge is a less ancient and monumental version that captures attention. It consists of plastic and wooden toy horses arranged in a field. The story began in 2010 when one toy horse was left in a field along Old Sudbury Road. The owners of the pasture, Jimmy Pingan and Elizabeth Graver, mentioned that it was a leftover Halloween prop. Initially, they thought a child might find it and play with it, never expecting that this lone horse would lead to the creation of a local landmark. Soon after its appearance, more toy horses started to show up in the pasture. Rocking horses, hobby horses, and various horse models began to gather in the clearing. Over the years, the space has become adorned with dozens of ponies at any given time, forming a unique and unusual local attraction that has remained for more than a decade. It's an unusual and unexpected sight that draws curiosity and fascination from visitors and locals alike. Pisco Valley In the remote Pisco Valley, archaeologists have uncovered a puzzling discovery, a series of around a thousand shallow pits arranged in a mysterious pattern stretching up a hill for about 1,500 meters. These pits form a band that's 14 to 20 meters wide, known by local names such as Montesierpe, Cerro Viruela, and the Band of Holes. The purpose or function of these peculiar pits remains a complete mystery. This enigmatic phenomenon adds an intriguing layer to the archaeological landscape of the Pisco Valley. The unanswered questions surrounding their origin and significance spark curiosity and call for further exploration and investigation into the mysteries concealed within the Peruvian landscape. Here's the most astonishing discovery, Namibia's desert treasure. Discovering a shipwreck in the middle of a sun-scorched desert, miles away from the ocean shores, is an extremely rare occurrence. The finding of the shipwreck by German prospectors in 2008 left many puzzled. This wreckage turned out to be the remains of the 16th century Portuguese ship named the Bom Jesus, which had disappeared 500 years earlier. Loaded with valuable treasures, including gold and copper ingots, the Bom Jesus began its voyage from Lisbon, Portugal, on Friday, March 7, 1533, heading to India. However, it encountered a fierce storm that led to its demise. The wreckage uncovered around 2,000 pure gold coins and tens of thousands of pounds of copper ingots, almost all in remarkably preserved condition. Speculations suggest that the bomb Jesus sank when it was driven too close to the Namibian shore during a storm, causing the ship's hull to collide with a rock. As the coastal waters receded, the ship emerged in the desert. The state of the ship indicates that the storm was exceptionally violent, despite there being few human remains found at the site. It's believed that most of the crew either survived the wreck or perished at sea. The discovery of this shipwreck in such an unexpected location has added a fascinating chapter to maritime history, the Tanner Tree. Imagine a lone tree standing tall in the vast Sahara, defying the harsh conditions for over 300 years. This was the Tanner Tree, a remarkable survivor in an otherwise barren and arid landscape. Despite the desert's inhospitable nature, this solitary tree endured. Sadly, what the harsh environment couldn't destroy, a careless truck driver did. The tree stood as the only obstacle in a 500-meter stretch of barren land, and it fell victim to an accidental collision. Once part of a larger grove thousands of years ago, the area likely flourished with forests. However, as the climate changed and rainfall decreased over time, the number of trees dwindled. Eventually, the Tanner tree found itself surrounded by over 200 miles of dunes in every direction, becoming one of the few prominent features in the landscape. This lone tree served as a local landmark, guiding caravans and travelers through the perilous journey across the Sahara. Its significance led officials to drill a well in 1938. As they dug deeper, they uncovered the secret to the tree's survival. Its roots extended a remarkable 110 feet beneath the surface, tapping into an underground water source. This discovery unveiled how the tree had managed to thrive for centuries in such an unforgiving environment. The Mojave Desert Phone Booth In the Mojave Desert, there's an intriguing and somewhat mysterious sight. An isolated phone booth standing beside a large cactus plant. This peculiar view raises questions about its origin and purpose. 
The story of this enigmatic phone booth began when a man named Godfrey Daniels read about it in a magazine. Driven by curiosity, Daniels decided to find this Mojave phone booth. He called the number tirelessly for over a month, but it was always busy. Despite the odds, he persisted, fascinated by the idea of a phone ringing in the middle of the desert. Eventually, someone answered. Surprisingly, it was a woman named Lauren, not a mystical figure as many might have imagined. Lauren explained that the phone booth was installed in the 1960s for volcanic cinder miners. Learning this excited Daniels even more, and he embarked on a journey to locate the booth, finding it situated between Baker and Vegas in the Mojave National Preserve. After visiting the booth, he created a website, sharing its phone number, which quickly gained worldwide attention. Unfortunately, the phone booth's newfound fame led to its removal in May 2000 due to excessive traffic. What was once a mysterious and unique connection between the digital and real worlds became a forgotten spot in the vast Mojave Desert. Which of these discoveries did you find the most intriguing? Let us know in the comments below.